hey, yeah, what's up? Hot friend. <laughs> hot friend. I don't have my pot friend a hotkey on the front page anymore. I have it buried. There he is. <laughs> Thank you, Squarshies, for 14 months. The Peruse and Mangles and Diz. Starlight, hi, hi, hi. Mario Kart. <laughs> Hold on, let me get the other guys on screen too. You summon them a council. This is so Marcy Monday court. I know, I know, and it's not even Monday. I'm giving you a gift. <laughs> I'm here for the cart. The cart? Where's the cart? Wait, what cart? I'm doing art. <laughs> Thank you, Diz, for 20 months. The K is silent? Oh, that's different. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Anyway, I was posting my shit. It's Marzi Monday. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Taz? Thank you for seven months. I appreciate it so much. It is Marzi Monday, again. Because I didn't feel like doing anything else. Hey, laddie. Welcome. It's late o'clock. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, Pancake. Welcome. I cannot believe I decided I would do this, but <laughs> whatever. I went to bed at like 4 a.m. I guess I can stream. I'm supposed to work on this, so... <laughs> you know, you guys are supposed to hold me accountable the whole time. Make sure I do my job. Also, I'm enjoying the chill vibes version of the playlist I have, so hopefully it feels pretty mellow tonight. Have fun. Have fun? <laughs> there is no fun. What are you talking about? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Nessa Mons, for 20 months. That's a long time. What the hell? thinking about it. Gosh, that is a really long time. I've been streaming that long? You're going to bed? Thank you, stupid. I will have a good stream. That's almost 21, right? Almost old enough for a drink. 21 years. Not quite 70, though. I think my hands hurt a little less. I guess I can put on my glove. <laughs> oh, thank you, Raven. You need that. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for the subs. I really appreciate it. We'll get so many things if we get so many subs, but I'll still always do Mercy Monday. Just not at the same level. <laughs> Alright, let me make sure that there's room on this desk for all my stuff here together. We're all here. It's a little crowded still. I'm scooting around a lot. <laughs> the hardwood floor with, with the rollers on the chair. I'm always scooting around on streams. Yes, it's been a while since I drew something. Let me do some scribbles. That mangles? What if it was called Shark Trade? <laughs> if it was, <laughs> I think there would be a different context to what's within it. <laughs> oh man, we just hit the Shark Train level two. <laughs> oh, thank you, Diz. I can't believe you've gifted so many Hi. subs. Thank you for five subs. Especially one for Pancake, my homie. And thank you, Ghosty. I hope you've been well. For four whole months. Thank you so much, you guys. Really appreciate it. You make me feel like this. Yeah, like that one. <laughs> You are Shark Train? No, it is. That's the worst. I am so sorry. Oh, 
I understand how you must feel. <laughs> Your poor butt. <laughs> I hope you stop feeling like this soon. <laughs> hey there, Acer. Good evening. Yeah, I can't believe it either. You on the toilet. <laughs> All right, where the heck is that art trade anyway? I never opened the canvas with it on it. Wouldn't it be fucked up if I didn't have it saved? Wouldn't that just be fucked up? No, I have it. I'm, I'm fucking brown. Just fucking kidding. Anyway, uh, get rid of a couple things. There we go. Portal two. Yeah, I have a crowdfund right now and the channel point redeems if you can donate some points and we hit the goal then I'll do the first time ever played through a Portal 2 that I've done. I've done co-op but I haven't played through the story of Portal 2. You're right, more like Portal 2. <laughs> Portal, my bad. Portal. Let me add a bit more fuel to the shark train. <laughs> Thank you Acer for your shark train bits. <laughs> I very much appreciate it. You forget to save stuff? Oh, that must suck. At least sometimes I'm streaming what I'm doing, so like maybe I can just go back and grab a screen cap, but that's not the same. It doesn't have the layers and shit. Like, look at this. These are the original colors. Then you go ahead and you put that over it and give it that little bit of mmm, you know? Thank you, Mangles and Raven. You're getting there. Portal 2 is gonna happen. One day. <laughs> No more fuel, no more pool. Well, I guess that's a good thing. I should probably organize these layers. Bear with me. There's a bear with me. Uh. Oh, I don't know if I want this. Let's delete that layer. We don't need that. <laughs> streamed and forgot to press end stream. Oh, I've done that. <laughs> I've done it where uh, I've raided and forgot to end the stream for a few seconds because I just sit there and I stare at the wall for a moment and then go, huh? <laughs> Come back to life. <laughs> it happens. Ain't no thing. Thank you, Acer, for the points. Portal. This is the colors. Okay. Oh, colors. Guess I'll just smash these two layers together. Sketch. I'm gonna have to drag all of this shit into a folder. Yuck. <laughs> you can't have an end stream button. Not for my stream. I end when I feel like it. <laughs> Raven, I'm sorry I'm so dumb and I can't do Portal. <laughs> it has been a long time since I've played a Portal game, though. So maybe I will struggle and you'll be <laughs> throwing up and <laughs> you'll be crying over it. <laughs> no, it's okay. You're allowed to make sick jokes, Diz. I don't mind. I'll let you know if it's too much. Oh, that's right. That's what everything's attached to. And I want to make this color. Oh. Where is it? There we go. I want to make this color different, I think. A sand. Art. Where's my brush? Hell. Do do caca, etc. <laughs> and all the others. What if I made it more. This, <laughs> this drawing is already super pink heavy. Maybe a white sanded beach. 
a little more like that. Yeah, okay, I like that a lot, a lot better. A lot more. You died of dysentery. That is an epic gamer joke. I know that one. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Oh, that's no longer the sand color. It is. It is. Like almost the same exact thing, but a little different. <laughs> it's slightly brighter, just ever so slightly from the original. Rough stuff, the folder. Now to grab everything and put it inside. Take me a second. There we go. In there now. There we go. Shoo. Damaki, yes, Nitro. It's Damaki. Damaki roll. <laughs> You're right, I would love a Maki roll. Nelote with nacho cheese sauce. What? <laughs> I love the phrase, I'm dying of risen Terry. <laughs> and this sucks. I have to draw. What the fuck? <laughs> am I gonna do... What kind of pen am I gonna use? That's what I still need to, s to decide. I could just use the regular G pen. That song is epic. I'm still figuring out the chord progressions and stuff for it though, because I'm only doing it by ear. Nobody's uploaded it. I have to figure out everything myself for cool shit I like. This song's also epic. You know what? Fuck it. I had some good squid time earlier. Thank you so much for squid. Hmm. Could use... What was the other pen I used recently? The... Is the turnip pen? I don't remember if it was. I don't think it was turnip pen. Uh, my mini's not plugged in, Raven. It's sitting on the desk, but it's not. <laughs> it's not attached. I've been meaning to do chord management, and that's when I will hook that up. What did I use? I don't I remember. It may have been this pen, but I don't think I want to use a rough pen. I want to be soft. <laughs> what if we drew? Uh, I haven't drawn shit. As you can see, I ain't drawing anything. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That was high effort streamer today. used to only use turnip pen. I usually just use G pen and I have the sensitive sensitivity turned up really high. But it's more of a matter of what kind of thickness am I gonna do it. I also need to draw a background. Not excited about that. Hate drawing backgrounds. At least it's a beach background so I'm basically just drawing a sky for the most part. Shit, it's still squid time? <laughs> What's up, Atomic Purple? How you been? It's your birth? Happy birth! 
So glad you could be older. Quality chart. I have quality chart right here. We're trying to figure it out together. Do I have the birthday Mario emo? Let me check. I don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Taz. <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday. What about a real G pen? <laughs> what if you a real G pen though? <laughs> Uh, it's so dumb. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, not that one, Raven. <laughs> Wrong Mario. Use this for something? A really nice brush. I don't think I've used it for anything. die somewhere between the bed and the toilet well I hope if you're gonna be spewing more you're near the toilet <laughs> thank you so much Diz thank you for the subs earlier too I really do appreciate it have a good one I don't know fuck dude I feel like I have to do a second sketch I hate that feeling I don't want to do a second sketch <laughs> It does kind of sound like a Billie Jean remix. I kind of understand where you're coming from, Raven. Okay, if I did this again, but I did it like even gooder than before, <laughs> what would it look like? does not have a reference open. Ugh. <laughs> I just thought about it and was like, huh. Probably should get one of those, huh? Ear ref? I don't know what that is, so no. Fuck it. <laughs> Nitro, I'm pulling the Maki from the depths of my brain. Just like going to my mind palettes and finding the Maki I remember. Did I put it in my references folder? I might have the old one in my references folder. Yeah, I have an old one. Uh, where's that chibi? Put it on the desktop. I did. Chibi. Fuck it. Chibi. Okay, so it's just Egghead. <laughs> the one eye. Oh my god, Splatoon jams again! <laughs> I think my chill playlist is quite chill, if you ask me. Hope you like squid music. <laughs> The Jimmy Neutron memory poll. <laughs> Can I add pictures onto a canvas? Oh, I think I've heard of this before. Yeah, this is really neat, Raven. Uh, I might have to look into that at some point. I am curious. Oops, I deleted what I wanted. Seems like it would be really useful for some stuff, but uh, I just have folders of references for like uh, characters reference, like reference sheets and stuff like that, but I don't usually save references of like poses a lot of the time or inspiration stuff unless it's really striking to me.
Nobody has said that they're proud of me that I'm doing this. <laughs> Even though I procrastinated. <laughs> Do another shit. A good excuse. Yikes. Up, Cam. I am doing a late night stream. Need some water again. Damn. Thank you, Taz. You always looking out for me. <laughs> I always hate when my headphones make a funny noise because I don't think you guys hear it. <laughs> but then she talks to me and it's like, leave me alone, girl. I'm already dealing with other shit. <laughs> I mean, the woman that lives inside my headset. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna draw the other eye. It's just gonna be the one. Sorry, Maki, you're Cyclops. But hey, I told uh, Moku to draw my OC. Jazzy, and Jazzy typically has her bangs over both of her eyes at all times, so he doesn't even have to worry about that. He can just draw like a little Muppet. <laughs> oh god, no. It wasn't low battery. She didn't do that. It was the really jarring like disconnection sound where it's like <laughs> and then she goes Bluetooth device 1 connected. What's up, Lou E? Yeah, I'm doing art for Mokujin. Part of the art trade. Oh, that's right. There was like a little bit of hair that I drew here. See, it, it's good that I'm going back over this because this sketch probably wouldn't have sufficed for line work very well. I wouldn't have been able to make it look right. Now it's gonna look epic. <laughs> yeah, that noise. <laughs> I feel like I replicated it kind of well. Probably not note for note, but I, I remember how many beats. Reasons I accorded everything. I've been seriously thinking about it. Especially because there's a slight delay on my headset to what I'm hearing and things like that. It's to like what I'm seeing and I think it shows up on stream so without having to fuck with audio delay stuff I'd rather just like wire in my headset again another thing that I plan on doing when I do all the chord management yeah this song's not Mario Kart and it's banging right you love it Raven this is the new Mario Kart whether or not to get more detailed with the hair. But I might leave the drawing rather simplistic. Decisions, decisions. My card of it was on the N64. Oh, I hate to break it to you. <laughs> Alright, this is a seven minute cut of this song though, so we're gonna move on. Aw, oh, hell yeah, now we're talking. There were a few days, one week, where I would wake up and this song would be playing in my head. Just instantly I'm thinking about Cobalt Coast. <laughs> I 
I wish Mario Kart 64 was real. Too bad all we have is Wave Race 64. good in terms of weight and balance. Just stare at it. I love how many different types of like vibing and jamming and dancing emotes there are available. <laughs> There's just so many. You can do whatever you want, man. Jam out. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. I'm regretting making the rough line work layer like this so light. Because now I have to like retrace it. <laughs> I could just reload. I haven't actually saved the file again recently. We're doing a circle orb moment. Fallen. certified ball moment. Ball. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and they said Moku could never be ballin. Meanwhile... <laughs> what the fuck does a basketball look like? <laughs> That's okay. I'm glad you're having a good one. Happy birthday again. You know what? Happy birthday one more time for good measure. Squid time again, baby. Got all of my squid jams on tonight.
What do you think she's saying? She do be speaking facts, sitting hot fire. I think she's hoping we're all having a good time. You know what? I'm hoping we're all having a good time too. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. differently there or is it just not colored? It's just not colored. <laughs> I see. Cool, got it. This looks pretty good, pretty accurate. that I've been posting in the Discord? Oh, thank you! I hope work's been going well. He's talking about the time she went to Squid Taco Bell. Is that a thing? Do they have like a Vimo Baja Blast or something? I don't know. <laughs> Doritos Woomy <Wumi> Taco. <laughs> Sorry, that was dumb. I'll just- <laughs> I'll leave. I'll end stream. the Baja Blasted Squid Taco Bell. Yeah, it probably would be a little off. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe it's like the, um, maybe it's like the drinks they have at the food stand. Where you start slurping on a cherry fizz or whatever the freaking heck they're called. I don't remember all the flavors. I'm not obsessed with the ability gear grinding. <laughs> Mario Paint, my beloved. Yeah, but ever since Nolan told me about the <laughs> who's drawing dicks or whatever, I can't not think about that. Is it sucking dicks? I don't even remember it. That's just what my brain thought of. <laughs> There's just dick on the brain. <laughs> been drawn dicks thank you <laughs> I'm glad that we all shared the same curse yes <laughs> yeah I'm glad we're all there together Ugh, I don't like this how can I make it better uh, I can probably do Okay, like that. 
there's a lot of songs like that for me too, Acer. That's why I have a mashup channel in my Discord of anything that's like become brain rot for me. <laughs> that's like a mashup of a couple songs with either anime or Mario Kart music or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that so true, Taz? Isn't that so true? It's beautiful. This song's also really good. Fuck. Who put together this playlist? It must have been somebody really cool. Exactly in my drawing here. Like, not even I know what I drew here. <laughs> really should go and check. Witch Doctor? God, Witch Doctor is such a good, uh, earworm. Gets in there and then never comes out. Mario wonder. I wonder what it's gonna be like. Squish coming over to play Mario Wonder. Let's go. Let's go. Elephant time. So hype. Which character do you guys want to play as? Who do you want to be the most? The game will be wonderful. It will be super epic and awesome and there will be a ton of awesome discussion about how cool it is. Dude, I played this on trumpet the other day. Did you guys hear this? I don't even remember when I posted it. It's on my Discord. <laughs> I remember squeaking out those high notes. My lips were not there. Gosh, I miss those days. You must have missed it. I don't know, did you pop off? No, when I was on vacation right before I was in the move. Oh 
back is crack. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look for a sec. See how accurate I am. Up Starlight. Starlight was awake a little bit ago. What are you talking about? I'm sure Raven is sleuthing for that uh, trumpet little root. If it's not there, I definitely... I'm pretty sure I have a recording of it saved, and maybe just didn't post it, but yeah. I know I definitely played it, because I have the sheet music still saved. She's just farming points while she sleeps? What the hell? Just so she can come back and tell me to drink? Oh shit! I keep this one. Da 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 da. Mario. All the times that I play this when like guests are over that aren't like me, you know, like, gamer. <laughs> and I play piano and I play this and they say, oh my gosh, that was lovely. What is that from? I tell them, oh, uh, it's uh, from a Mario game. <laughs> oh, you founded it? What is that, a PNG? Pokemon song, the one number 21, because I don't label them. <laughs> Would love to actually do Trumpet seriously again. Maybe one day. Maybe when my life is more figured out. <laughs> when I can consider adding another hobby like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> sometimes you just have to like breathe or uh, do that thing where you have to let your lips drop and then re-tighten. Because keeping them tight like that is so draining. It sounds pretty good, you know Acer, I hadn't touched trumpet in like two years. <laughs> Uh, before I played again and recorded that. I was just kind of like sight reading at home because I was bored and didn't want to use my laptop or anything. So I was like, oh, you know what? My trumpet's in the closet. Let's see what I can do. It was awesome. Anyway, what's up, Punchy? Good evening. Thank God I only have to draw one foot. would idle and dire dire dogs on the DS version. I never played the DS version. I only played Super Mario 64, excuse me. <clears throat> Maybe we'll make that a little shorter, like here. Can you draw a second foot? No need, baby, no need.
I'm super focused in on doing a very realistic looking owl. You guys don't understand. It's a struggle. Especially after playing Splatoon for a couple hours. <laughs> draw a cute Mario feet? No, I have to stay focused. Can't be drawing other shit. Gotta work on this. Gotta. No distraction. tingly lip feel that you get. I like it better than playing with a reed. <laughs> I don't know, something about the wood being in your mouth was really weird for me. I was more accustomed to just putting the metal to my lips. But I started out as a trombonist when I was in fifth grade and then I moved to trumpet very soon after. Like, within a year I had made the switch. So I had already started to learn bass clef and I was like, nah, I'd rather do trumpet. And then switch to treble. And I still struggle sometimes to read bass clef very quickly. It'll take me a moment to catch up. Whereas treble clef is very uh, first instinct, like I can just read it right away. horror stories, they get grody. <laughs> but like all instruments do that you put your mouth on, all of them get gross. You're putting your mouth on it. <laughs> you can't read shit. I am so sorry, Raven. I forget that it's a skill that you have to really work to learn because to me it comes so naturally, but I understand for a lot of people it doesn't. Like, I enjoy watching videos of people discussing why a song sounds the way it does because of music theory and, like, how the song is structured in terms of music theory. Like, oh, and this is how this chord shifts into this, and it's like, oh, like, it's so good for songwriting and listening to other songs and hearing it again. Freaking love music. You can guess the notes and pretend that you're reading. Oh my god, Raven, you cheater! You're not even trying? For shame. I'm gonna tell your piano teacher. You have to wet reeds? Yeah, you kind of have to lick them a little bit. Give them a little suck. <laughs> but I was exclusively a brass major. She knows. Even Squarshies, even Squarshies knows how to read music. <laughs> wow. Over for you guys when I start streaming music and talking in music theory and then nobody's gonna be able to follow. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm at a point where I might be able to start doing line work soon. I'm just gonna finish doing the background. 
sketch. Because right now it's just like super rough. <laughs> So I should probably turn on the grid. There it is. Follow it all the way through. Sorry for grabbing you on your bits, Maki. I didn't mean to. like the foam that washes up, you know what I'm saying? Foam. E foam. You're like a himbo but a girl. You mean a bimbo? <laughs> Trombone and tuba a bit. Wasn't a fan. I've always enjoyed the lower range instruments but I never really played them. I was mostly in the higher ranges. You would study up? Damn. <laughs> A dead blobfish? Is that good enough? <laughs> it's just like Squidward. <laughs> Rest in peace. I am probably gonna add like a couple little things like this to kind of give it a little more depth. Might even mix in a shell or two. Just to make the sand look more like sand and there's shit in it. just made a loud crack. Damn. Didn't know it was so crunchy. go for more of those kinds of clouds with a flat bottom you're out of ferts oh no you're out of ferts i need to stream more <laughs> okay i will posture check oh now my back is crunching yes thank you captain bozo i'm only breaking a little See if I can get a good crack on my... No, it doesn't seem like it. Damn. Don't worry, it'll come back. <laughs> my hands are crunching. Yeah, I think I'm gonna draw more clouds like this one that have a flat bottom to it. Bitches. 
چیست؟ trying to erase all of it now. Come on. I don't often listen to this playlist. It's very nice and mellow for the night. See, even I think this is mellow enough. Very vibey. Doesn't love a good super monkey ball vibe. I'm gonna move this little cloud. I really like this little cloud. I'm not getting rid of it. Y'all need a vibe playlist. Do you don't have a vibe playlist? What are you doing? Oh, there technically will be a sunshine. I think. I think I want a tiny bit of it. Which means I might have to adjust the colors again, which kind of sucks because I already made a palette. But whatever. circle with the guide. Draw this reflection on the water. I might have to also change the colors again. Damn. It won't be too hard to do that, but damn. <laughs> oh, you're doing what I can. Don't mess. You can always look at it again and go, never mind. A new idea. They're way more birdy than you expected. They're also very tiny. They are way out there. <laughs> Hold it. 
We're gonna make a new over this. Do the sky again. Might also need to do the water again. God, everything needs to be redone. I'm such a fool. Now that I put the sun there, everything needs to be changed. gases these series of games. I've never uh, heard about them until recently. They seem like they are cool, uh, but the music was hidden. Especially this song. That's enough reason for me to check out something. <laughs> song though. Look at song color. I wish I could play Galaxy the first time again. God, me too. That game... Ugh, I've played it too many times, but like... <laughs> I might consider doing another stream of it again at some point because I have a bigger audience now. But I've done a complete 100% Mario and Luigi Mario Galaxy series before. But I would do it again. I would fucking do it again. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Yeah, playing it when I was a kid was also very important to me. Gosh, that Wii era. Oh my god. How many- Oh, right, right, right. Now we're talking. Kind of determining how the water is gonna look. I don't know if it'll go that dark that way, but we'll see.
Okay. That's probably okay. Ain't enough. Why am I trying so hard? <laughs> like that. I always try way too hard. I need to be told to take breaks. <laughs> and here I am still not taking a break. Look at me go. I forgot how old I am. I mean, I've always liked art as a kid, but I think I would say that I started seriously drawing when I was in middle school, like actually trying, you know? So maybe... Yeah, it's almost 20 years then, if you think about it like that. Middle school's after 10. So yeah. Like 18 or 17 years. <laughs> How old am I? Uh, <laughs> that long. That many. <laughs> Sorry, it, it took a bit. <laughs> what if we do... Beautiful purpley pink sky. Incorporate some purple into it on the top. Yeah, I think I have the wrong order of colors. Damn, that is so sapphic. Hold on, let me get rid of that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're such a god. You're just a little kid. Just a little tiny tot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you're doing math. I know. Math is hard. Uh, I actually turned 29 in July, just to be clear. Getting old enough where to always immediately know my age. I know, I thought that I was turning 28 this year, but no, I am turning 29, and it's like, ah! <laughs> I hate that feeling. You have to make it gayer. <laughs> what Maki would have wanted. Alright, we're working backwards. We're working from the sun outward. What I should have been doing from the beginning. Turning 30? No, that was Mark. You have the choice to make things more gay, it's usually the right one. Alright, alright, alright. You guys are right, I'm sorry. I'll make it gayer. This song is my childhood. Thank you. 
No, multiply looks disgusting. It was kidding. Haha, uh -huh, kidding. That looks crazy. <laughs> I'm just playing with layers now. Whoa. My birthday? Can't you just use the B day command? Does nobody see it? Can you guys see that? Is this thing on? It, hello? <laughs> hey Bob, what's up? See, there it is, there it is. It's even right there. And you are right, yeah, Raven. God, dox me, why don't you? I can't believe you were right. You, did you just guess? <laughs> Time to come up with a new color palette because I don't think this is gonna cut it anymore. Well, maybe at this opacity it does cut it. You know what? You might be cooking. Even with the change to background. Like the parts I did change. Here's the Maki palette. Oh shit, I had it turned way down on the opacity, but yeah, that looks bright. <laughs> Hold up, let me take down the grid. Give that section a blur. Where's the... Literally can't read it is in the title. I know, I even forgot I put it there. <laughs> yeah, who even reads? I don't even read. Nobody even reads the ticker that scrolls on the bottom of the stream ever. I called it out once. Thank God somebody noticed. <laughs> you were looking at it? Oh my God, somebody read it. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'm gonna just make another selection box. Go, make this, race, run from it. Where's the blur option? with my finger. This is kind of a gay sunset, if you ask me. Since you called it out that time, I've made an effort to read it. Well, thank you. You guys like the colors? Thank you, thank you gonna give it a little more blend because it's a little funny looking. No offense, you're a little funny looking. Quite a bit. I do another clipping layer right on top.
Look, she's just glowing. <laughs> because it's not uh, on the layer that Maki's on. <laughs> she's just glowing. <laughs> she's a little radioactive. Yeah, I'll stretch. I think I'm funny looking too. We all are a little bit, right? What the fuck? It's been an hour. You feel like I've made Ugh, no progress. We're kind of back to where we are before when I opened it, but a little nicer looking, I guess. But like these pillars still match, right? Yeah. The background doesn't anymore. The background colors are way different now. sunsets. I don't draw enough like landscapes or backgrounds in general. Everybody just floats in a void in my art. Even though if I put in the effort, I probably could. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> I don't think it's being lazy. I think it's just me not wanting to do it. <laughs> There's a difference. have the same sentiment. I'm glad I'm not the only I was gonna go color for the probably just the purple color. This is harder than that color remember that I'm doing. Passing out at your desk. Oh my god, yeah, get out. <laughs> I pass out at my desk way too often, and thankfully, never on stream. I'm always conscious all the way through stream. Except that one time when I drew Scrappa and I started laughing so hard I almost passed out. That was different. I was gonna unironically draw a really thick, realistic looking ass, and I had to stop myself. <laughs> is so very Animal Crossing to me and it's not. That's so weird. What do you mean this isn't KK Paint?
You've definitely never fallen asleep. No, never ever. And you would totally take a lie detector test willingly to prove it, right? Yeah, it probably is Totaka on both games, let's be real. <laughs> it's Nintendo. They've got Totaka on everything. You would fail any lie detector test? Yeah, I probably would too. <laughs> Blinking, I'm blinking. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Wait. Stop auto-saving for a fucking second. I know, I know. I haven't saved in a year. Give me a second. Being so bad. Yeah, I think that'll look nice. The purple on the cloud. What's up, Smits? What's good? What's good? Not much going on here other than we had to redo all the in sketch work. But I think it's kind of cool. Uh, we could probably put over every up very for a moment. Interested in make the clouds. Birthday's on the tenth. Was wondering if we just casually had the same birthday. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't put it past it. Uh, I've had, well, I've had, I have a similar birthday to a cousin because she was born on the same day. So it's like that would be really cool. But alas, we are not the same day. I'm at the end of the month. I think purple might be the one. Oh. Like a little bit of... Doing a multiply layer on top of those. Got it. Okay, hit the fill button. Shit. Oh, looks just as good as last time. A very Marzi hairstyle. You know what? You're right. It is a perfect fit. I am glad that I ended up getting to be Moku Art Trade member. Our uh, styles, like our OCs, probably work really well in each other's art styles. Very exciting to see. Wonder when Moku's gonna feel better and get to work on any art. I feel like I have an excuse because Mo sick and has other things that they're doing, but <laughs> not everybody else has that same excuse. So I've been procrastinating. No, my art is with Moku. Moku sick. At least last I checked, anyway.
clouds are that color. Okay, cool. Got that. And I wanted to really quick this flipping layer. Gosh, it's getting a little hefty here. If Moku had a pink glow. <laughs> me when rim lighting. Me when I've never really done extensive lighting in a long time for any kind of art. This is the first time I've done a background in a long time. Lots to think about. is going to get a slight adjustment here in a little bit just so it fits the drawing better but I think pink is going to be the color to go with. I think realistically there would be. Oh my god, copper, sexual themes! Don't leave! No, don't leave! Come back! It's not that sexual, not today. I just turned it on just in case. You never know when somebody's gonna be like, um, actually. No scrap of ass today. <laughs> one scrap of ass for the road, some feet. Please, ma'am, can you spare one little toe for us? You like it, Raven? Thank you. my wrist. This is kind of like Mario Kart lobby music. <laughs> I can do that one more time with my wrist. Oh, that loud ass crack. That was the one. I guess I should pick a color for the thing underneath that she's sitting on the towel. At least sigh. Whatever, I guess I have to. Maki's cute, right? I mean, look at this one. Look at this cheap Maki. So tiny. But she is very cute. I made her even cuter, though. Let's be real. <laughs> You remember this game? I've never played it, but I really like the music from it. Uh, what am I looking for in my tools? There we go. I'm trying to think about a good for this. Something that's gonna pair well with everything else.
this look too bland. Could go green to match the jacket. Could go kind of like a purpley pink. pink the, I was gonna say the game. The drawing already has a lot of pinks to it though. I didn't want to look too heavy on it. Well, at the very least, I can just color it in and play with the hue shift. Figure it out. Have faith. Okay, but the music is nice. Yeah, the music is nice. That's all I need. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your music. A rainbow to make it even gayer, huh? That would be kind of gay. <laughs> That's the wrong thing. I needed this color again. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I'm a perk player, right? Okay, cool. Let's just kind of key shift it for a moment and take a look. I'm actually using the tablet, but I'm looking at the OBS screen to see what the colors look like. Orange or brown wouldn't be terrible. I just feel like it's very similar to the ground. Kind of with like a navy purple color. Fine, work with that. It's been like a year, I should probably see. <laughs> cool, we made a bit of progress. This is the set of lines. Take a look at it from afar. Gaze upon it. keep thinking it's been longer than it has been, but it really hasn't, has it? Oh, well, I guess it's been a decent enough time. Not even that. Really chill? Thank you. Not always this chill, but at night I like to keep it chill. <laughs> well, have a safe drive home. Oh my gosh, Moku! <laughs> Here, take a look at it. Take a look at it. This is kind of what we're looking at. But yes, take care, Bozo. Have a good night. Safe drive. Love that Moku came racing in here. 
Don't look excited. <laughs> Time for me to stop lollygagging. I gotta actually make real progress. Even though this sketch looks really good, we gotta actually make it look really good. <laughs> Massaging my wrist for a moment. Oh, like it hurt? Ow! <laughs> sags. Oh my god, sags! I miss using my points for sags. How you feeling, by the way, Melku? Hope you've been doing well. Feel sick. Should I do it with a giant pen? <laughs> Are those your cute Mario feet? You better put those in your cute Mario cart. <laughs> Feeling better? That's good. I'm glad. Been working, working, and working, and then you were like, I don't want to burn out from streaming, so I'm not going to stream, and then you come back and you're like, oops, I'm sick. <laughs> Thank you, Raven. That's such a good emo. Whoever made that is so cool. <laughs> Actual bruh moment. It really was. Good to hear you're doing better, though. Now you can be here to watch me draw Maki. So I guess you could do that if you were sick still. I'm putting my whole ass pussy into this. I hope you realize that, Moku. I've already spent a ton of time on it. We're just now getting to lines. I'm so slow. <laughs> If only someone made it and was here. If only somebody also had, like, made the joke about it in order for that to become a reality. They're probably pretty cool, too. If only they were here for me to tell them that. Yeah, the whole ass pussy. It's become such a problem that I say pussy often, like... <laughs> Uh, I was downstairs talking in the kitchen and <laughs> I said something about the tongs that I got from the dollar store and how they're really good for serving. And then I paused and went, serving cunt. And the men just went, how did I know you were just going to say that? How did I know you were going to say cunt and talk about pussy again? Like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I'm getting called out of my own house. I did go ham, thank you. You were like, maybe she's sitting on a beach or something? I'm like, dude, I haven't drawn a background in years. You're asking for a lot, but let's see what we got. <laughs> I got a beach in me somewhere. It's a beach o'clock somewhere. I did time it like a <laughs> like was serving gun. <laughs> And the way he, was, he responded to me was just like, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. What, you going to tell me something else? Like... <laughs> oh, so funny. Now draw her in a video game arcade. Okay, okay. Now draw her like granddad. Dude. 
I don't know if you guys have ever played this game. I haven't, but I sure do love the music. Driver playing Outrun. How about I draw her with a ball when she's falling? I mean, my whole pussy into this. Uh, not yours. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean it like that. Please don't get mad. I'm sure you're a nice lady. I love that emote. Nobody's used it yet. Gosh, Moku always shows up and finds all the weird shit. You guys did a tourney of it? How was it? Other than being sick, like, did it take a very long time to do the tourney? <laughs> they have a lot of the same vibes. One of them's very discussion heavy and one of them's a little more chill. do be making games with fishing and good music. It's crazy. Why do they keep getting away with it? Who's letting them do this? I'm trying to give myself enough space. thing that I can put on stream. <laughs> it would be really funny. Whenever Mario Wonder comes out and I start streaming that. Then I just turn into an elephant. <laughs> can you imagine? Ugh. actually bit crushed a live saxophonist. Yeah, that's right. His family still wants to know about his whereabouts. But he lives within the song. last trail of the game, really. Pretty rad the Apollo Trilogy is coming out. I do think that's rad. I've never played those series of games. I've only ever played the first Ace Attorney game and not all of it. There's a little more that I didn't do. Um, but I do own it still, so I could go back to it. We will have to see. Oh yeah, what's everybody's bias with Twilight Princess? Did you play it on Wii or did you play it on GameCube? Oops, your answer's now on your phones.
GameCube. You. That wasn't one of the options, but okay. <laughs> you didn't have either? Damn, you never played. Uh, Ocarina was one that I, like, I grew up with, but the N64 wasn't really my console. It was the one at Dad's, so I only got to play it sometimes. I think my first real Zeldas were, like, Link to the Past and, uh, Twilight Princess. Because I had the GBA port of Link to the Past. <laughs> and then I had a Wii. So. Never had a GameCube, though. There, uh, sad day. Sad, sad. Tried it on Wii. Wasn't a fan of how the whole game got mirrored. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm used to how it's mirrored. <laughs> so, like, I've considered wanting to actually go through and beating it, because I actually hadn't beaten it before, but damn, I would have to play one of the, like, real versions. Fuck. <laughs> My memory is gonna be so confused. I also have really fond memories of it too, Acer. The Link to the Past Four Swords Adventure GBA. Love that thing. Remake or a port will happen soon. I know, I'm kind of getting that feeling too. With all the remakes and ports that they're doing, it might. They've given Wind Waker that treatment, so they probably won't do Wind Waker again, but I could see them doing Twilight Princess after this long, especially because they did Skyward Sword. There was a lot of Mario stuff. I did kind of pop off a bit. Uh, I did not pop off as much as I thought I would have for Splatoon, but they did announce the new Mario Kart characters that were coming and that the new tracks will come in summer and stuff. And it's like, okay, I'm excited about that. Mario Wonder seems like it's going to be a lot of fun too. <sighs> I just wanted a little more for Splatoon. That was the main one I wanted. I'm not a Pikmin fan. I've never played them. Uh, I'm sure I would like it if I did, though. Yeah, they really wanted people to like it this time. Please, guys, please like Skyward Sword. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that they haven't released it on the Switch, but maybe it's because it's, like, so gritty, and it's... Like, I say gritty. That's always what they say about it. It's the gritty one. Maybe it's because they don't think it's gonna perform well because it has such a long intro and everything, and it's so different from other Zelda games. Who knows? Who knows what they're thinking, honestly. You liked it, Copper? I'm sure it's good now that it's like a remastered version with some improvements to quality of life and stuff. I don't doubt that. This song always makes me feel like I'm smoking big joints. <laughs> it's pronounced shid. <laughs> okay, you like shid. from Square She's. Be sure to sub to Square She's so you can get that sick smoking frog emote. She doesn't talk your ears and balls off. Wait, she can talk your balls off? This is a feature I didn't know about. Did they add this to the HD release? You haven't watched the most recent Direct? It's kind of a weird one, but I thought there was a lot of cool good stuff and stuff for a lot of other people that's exciting. 
they were like, Zelda came out. Thank you so much for loving Zelda. Moving on. <laughs> and like, I'm not expecting anything from Zelda. They were like, oh yeah, the amiibo. We have amiibo coming out. The uh, <laughs> SMB drugs. It does. SMB Wonder looks great. No, they removed it. Too many ballless complaints. You really want them? I want them. I want the Zelda more than any of the other. Well, they ended on Elephant Mario Moku. That's just how it went. They were just like, oh yeah, and he's an elephant. Like, oh, come on, man. You can't just show us this really cool art style for Mario in like a 2.5D world and then do that to me. You can't just turn him into an elephant. <laughs> It just hurt me like that. But the animations and stuff, yeah, they all look amazing. The squash and stretch to Mario, the fact that he's not the same model he's been for like 10 years for all those new Super Mario Bros. games. It looks great. I'm actually very excited about it. I'm also really excited about the idea of us getting another single each game. Peach game, guys. We're actually doing it. We're getting a peach game. And it looks like it'll be interesting. It's like on a stage or something, so something's happening, you know? <laughs> I love that link. <laughs> Is the stage play the home game, the whole game, you'll be upset? I think that it'll be like part of the gimmick. I'm not sure what the idea they're going for yet though. They literally showed a couple seconds of like this almost gameplay cutscene and then they were like, okay, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. Bye-bye. Like, uh, uh, uh. And then they talked about Luigi for longer and I'm like, man, you can't just drop that and be like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, Peach game coming. I'm like, cool. And they're like, oh yeah, and uh, we're going to be bringing Dark Moon to Switch. And <laughs> can we learn more about Peach Game? This album art is sick as hell. Do you think KK is getting mad pussy? Alright, you know me, just thinking about pussy all the time. <laughs> Don't wanna think about KK getting mad pussy? No, he definitely slays. I'm with you, Acer. <laughs> that pussy. <laughs> yeah, that one there. no sexual things and it's honestly been non-stop then why don't you just leave it's gonna be like that what that I'm 
I'm obviously just too mature for you, Copper. <laughs> Maybe I will. Fine. Maybe you should. Looking like not at you. I need to move her eyeball. Give me that saying, girl. I'm gonna grab the entire thing and then go like this. Now she's looking at you. to my no sex club where we are cool and not sexual epic and cool yeah have fun at church <laughs> church is very sexual i'm sorry i haven't read the bible raven <laughs> come to my streams and you don't know that I'm just like so into Satanism. <laughs> Love that devil guy. That's the joke, Raven. I'm not even that either. <laughs> to turn on my tits. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> Variety of things. Tit activation about to happen. I mean, they've always been there. Someone said cock sex. <laughs> Was it Mark? <laughs> you couldn't shut up about that. Sources will remain anonymous. Okay, sure. Don't tell me. After all I do for you. You're right, I do need more water. Thank you for the follow. That too. Don't tell me it's already time to eat again. Hold on. I'm gonna I gotta send a message. I gotta I gotta hold up. Yeah, you guys wanna look at the full line work while I send a message? Wow. No, it is really saturated. It's super heavy. You are correct.
Make sure I'm messaging the right person. Okay, cool. What's that? Was that good? Yeah? Hey, Joni. Welcome, welcome. Check out the Maki. Good morning, Mercus. I'm glad you woke up. <laughs> oh shit, my sources. Oh no, the cock sex. It's here. How does the playlist know it's morning? It just knows. It's a beautiful morning. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Joni. Wakey wakey. Eggs and bakey. But there ain't no eggs and there ain't no bakey. All I have for you is ballin' and tits. I'm so sorry. You ain't got anything edible in this stream. That emote is really good. Unironic, good emote. Great job, Mark. I also want to make almost like a waving emote, but not quite the same as yours. I want it to be like... You know, I've definitely talked about this before. I want it to be like for it going like... Yay! With his little ears. And then his little hands are up here, and they're like waving back and forth. That was Roxo, really? It's beautiful. I love their work. But yeah, I want it to be something like that. Like, little arms going like, yeah. And maybe he says, yeah. <laughs> you got a content warning? Well, I've got my tits out, so it makes sense. Happy side. <laughs> Ooh, want to get him to make a boss emote? Yeah, that's so boss. He should. <laughs> I can't draw humans because I don't draw humans. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay. I can't wait till I also get the dosh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was... It <laughs> scared me. I messaged him, and then he was up here in under a minute. I'm like, I know it takes longer than a minute to make that thing. What? <laughs> Did he just know? <laughs> he snuck up behind me. It scared me. <laughs> He's so much more elusive now that the office is downstairs. We're so far apart. <laughs> yeah, Nolan jump scare moment. He brought me food that I only messaged him about a minute ago, and it's like, huh? <laughs> How did you know? But it looks hot as hell, so I'm waiting. I'm having, what is it, rustic tomato herb penne. Fuck, I have to actually draw this now. I've been fudging it for a while. Pokemon Art Academy? Ooh! I've been wanting to do another Art Academy stream since I grabbed it for the DS showcase I did a little bit ago. But I would love to do Pokemon Art Academy, but I would actually want to, like, get Pokemon Art Academy. You guys can't all draw humans. I feel so weird that I just can't draw anything else. <laughs> You're hungry but too lazy to cook. Yeah, see that's the thing, Raven. With this diet that I'm on, a lot of stuff is just like packet food that you mix with water. So at first you're like, oh this is so easy, it's so simple, and then you get to a point where you're like, I don't want to eat slop for every meal anymore. <laughs> Is 
feel like you're not an artist because you can't draw human. No, you stop that right now, Mark. Draw you an artist. That's it. That's all. No other qualifier. Draw. That's the wrong pencil. Also, yeah, your shit good. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I can only draw humans. I'm kind of with you, Lugie. I can draw humans. I don't really draw a lot of masculine male figures, but I can draw humans. Do a lot of, like, cartoony stuff. I can definitely do uh, certain types of creatures, but I can't do all types of creatures. A lot of quadrupeds are still really difficult for me. Like, don't ask me to draw you a dog. I cannot draw you a dog. <laughs> it would be like the most chibi, cutesy looking puppy I could possibly draw. If you ask me for like, no, try to make it real. Nah, it ain't happen. <laughs> and I draw a bunny? Not a good enough one. <laughs> Oh, I forgot the foo part. What you mean, foo? Is that better? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I drew a bunny the other day when I did Marzy Monday. I drew a bunny for lead. It's requested a lot. I know, right? It's requested. I don't like to. Most of the time, it's kind of just like a self-indulgent thing for me to draw my own kind of stuff. Because it's not always all so furry. Sometimes it's more like I'm just drawing anthropomorphic characters. Especially the one that I posted today. That's just a character that I've had for a really long time. I really like her design. It's very simple and easy to draw, so it's really fun to put her in different poses. And it's also the only character I've ever truly animated. Which, do I have those, like, available to just, like, slap it on stream for a sec? I probably do. Let's see. I draw a side view of a bunny if there was a gun put to my head. Yeah, if you put the gun to my head, I'll do my fucking best. <laughs> yeah, and these digital art's a little bit different than traditional art in the way that you do it, so understandable that you would excel maybe at one and not the other. What the fuck is that? Uh, I have way too many folders. Digital art folder. And folder. Where is she? One of them. There's an animation. Check that out. I did that. Oh, that's the wrong thing that I'm trying to move on the other one. It's very simple, super rough. Got a lot of pointers and stuff like that. Uh, the other one, the full body, but it's not very clean, it's very rough still. Here's the other one. Kind of small in comparison. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Big Art experience is limited to last night's Gardic phone. I would love to see more copper art. Mostly traditional artists used to do some sketches and stuff, trying to get back into digital. Oh yeah, it's so difficult to get back into it if you've been doing traditional for so long. But it also goes the other way. <laughs> Who are they blasting? I don't know. The Popo. <laughs> but yeah, she's a Jackalope OC that I've had for a while. Those are the only two animations of her. I don't think there's anything of her. No, I don't think there is. I haven't really done a whole lot of animation. This is the only other one that I'm proud of. And again, another one that I got a ton of pointers on and is also not even my character. I'll show it on stream for a moment. I did that too. I have since lost all of that skill. <laughs> so, 
Maybe I'll get it again one day. No, it wasn't Astro Boy. It was an original character. But it's not my character either. <clears throat> anyway, let's continue this art discussion while I eat. Keep, keep, keep talking. I'm gonna eat this penne. Here, you know what? I'll even, like, get in another thing. This is me eating. <laughs> Having a bite. You have a little sketchbook? Ooh, yeah, show us all your art, Copper. Go to my go to my Discord, take some pictures, and go put it in the art channel. I want to eat. Go on. Go on, skedaddle. I always get really inspired when I watch other artists draw. So I always wonder if I do that same thing for other artists too. Any recommendations? I guess it's up to you on whether you want it to be a display tablet or not. I use the display tablet so I see what I'm drawing, but I started out with like the tiny little cheap tablet. And I mean, if you just want to start out and do it casually, you could just get one of the little cheapies. Good, yeah, it's not too hot. It is not good enough to sh for me to even show off. Have you seen the shit that I posted, Copper? <laughs> You know what, why not? While we're just sitting here talking, why don't I show you something really old? We did this at the last art stream too, but let me just show you some old art. This is why you don't ask me to draw a dog. I cannot draw a dog. One from Marzi. Really, Lugie? Thank you. I really appreciate hearing that. I'm glad that you guys are all wanting to continue doing art. I really enjoy art. Hearing about you guys doing it makes me happy too. The Aggie sessions. I know, I want to do more stuff like that. Now that my internet's a lot better, it should be a lot easier to do that. <laughs> he does look chill. He's pretty zoned. Uh, what else have I got? Let's... Um, ba 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 ba, where? There he is, there's Link. I found him. The boy in green, our hero of time. This is like 2012, 2013. Not 2013, probably 2012. Oh, yeah, over 10 years ago. Always been in my own head about learning it. Just want to kick my insecurities and even do it. Yeah, just do it. Who cares? Just do it. It's super dated, right, Copper? It has very dated energy. Um, started to get a little better once I was in college. Like, I started to get used to using the tablet. Uh, what's another good example? There's like pony art still mixed in. I guess I missed some of them. <laughs> this is pretty old still too. This is 2014. A really rough sketch of Kiki. You know what I do have? I have some stuff that's even older. 
because I have pictures of traditional art. Um, where's a good example of what my old art used to look like? <laughs> yeah, this is a good example. This is what my art used to look like. <laughs> You're right, I do need a drink. Thank you. Wow, art. <laughs> It's cute. Thank you. There's all sorts of stuff like that from back in those days. Um... <laughs> I think you guys will just like this. <laughs> it's iconic to me. Like peak nostalgia childhood drawing. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Wait, really, Copper? That sounds awesome. I love doing stuff like that. Like, visualizing what I picture when I hear a song. I've got art like that, too. You will love it. You're going back to middle school with me. Like, you're coming with. Um, here's another good example. Middle school. This is a good way to take a break while I'm eating anyway. Oh, this is like early middle school. This is like, I just finished elementary school going to middle school art. I've come a long way. <laughs> Blushes. <laughs> You can see here, I'm starting to slip into like more of an art style again. But I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh yeah, I used to draw the huge peepers. And I still sometimes draw them pretty big. Uh, all the other traditional art in here is a lot more recent. Like, uh... The good one to show you guys is more recent. Oh hey, look, there's Florence. That's a good one. Some recent bunny jackalope. They're in my sketchbook. <laughs> I fucking love this face over here in the edge. <laughs> She's like being stretched. <laughs> Pictures of jackalopes with their ears pulled back. <laughs> That's a good side boob. Thank you. I love her design because her shapes are very easy to draw. Uh, they're very curvy and round, so it's a lot of fun to draw her from all sorts of angles because it's easy to picture the spheres on her body. Oh, you did? Okay, hold on. Hmm. <laughs> it's her. That other person. Oh my god, I cannot remember their name. I rated them that other time after Moku suggested it. I love her OC. She's beautiful, Raven. I knew you would like that that streamer when she was like, oh my god, I love Persona. I'm like, oh boy. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Thank you, Taz. Yes, that is the name. Thank you so much. I'm almost done eating. This is pretty recent. In the last couple of years. I still have this graph paper book. I used it a lot for just like shitting out ideas. <laughs> she's a sweetheart, aw. Yeah, she seems very sweet. Oh, I didn't get a chance to see it either just because I wasn't around. I haven't gotten a chance to pop back in and even say hi again. 
been too busy or in bed. <laughs> I do really enjoy going back and looking at old art like this. Oh, here's another one of the same OC. They are all super rough though. <laughs> Love the loose jacket and the fishness. Thank you, thank you. The graph paper really helped me figure out some, like, symmetry problems that I was having with art. I mean, I still have them, but... <laughs> uh, I'm just checking to see if there was anything else worth sharing in this one. <laughs> this one. Usagi eating of... <laughs> eating a bun. <laughs> going in on that thing. Look at those teeth. The practice aspect? The practice part's the hardest. Yeah, look at these teeth. They're just up there. Like, damn, Usagi. You <laughs> got some fucking chompers, girl. <laughs> Where have I got digital art folder again? Come back to me, digital art. She would make that face. She just does that. <laughs> Unironically. Uh, but yeah, my art's come a very long way. From those days. Way back when. Oh, there was another Sailor Moon. There she is. Look, another Usagi. Old Marzi art. Yeah, I'm eating. But thank you for being on my case. <laughs> I literally have one more bite. <sighs> okay. Let me show you one last thing to show you all this growth. How far have we come? Very far. I mean, just look at this. I've come so far from these days. <laughs> Being the journey and the progress, it would be really cool for me to do like a full showcase stream and put together an actual like folder of hand-picked art and we can like go through all of it and discuss like that era of art too. I've just been like cherry picking certain stuff out of it because some of it's like doodle dumps which aren't really a lot of, to look at sometimes. They're just kind of like stuff. Uh, like this one. Some Splatoon doodle. 2016 splats, kids. Look at those. Look at me trying to draw a roller. That would be a really cool stream. I would really enjoy that. And I probably would have like an intermission segment where we go through all the pony art. <laughs> And then, uh... <laughs> yeah, see, this is why you don't ask me to draw animals. This one's titled Gorilla, I Think. cheap tablet. Oh yeah, you can find cheap ones for less than 100 bucks easy. <laughs> Sans gorilla. A little bit, a little bit. You like that gorilla? Thank you. Work very hard on that gorilla. 
very obvious. But yeah, now when I draw, it's like very obvious how much I've grown since then. A little bit like a grumpy Goron. A little bit, a little bit. I mean, look at this one of Jazzy. This is from last year. I drew her really lanky in this one. <laughs> She's not actually this long. It was more like rendering practice. It was a lot of fun to do, though. It's really cute. Thank you. I love looking at old stuff. Not everything, but most of it. <laughs> one was like a curveball. Yeah, that one is kind of a curveball reference because I don't usually draw her very realistic. <laughs> you know what's another really good piece of art? <laughs> I said that and then saw this. That's not what I meant. That's not what I was talking about. You should make simple flips art. Get on it, copper. Not Sophia Miller, not again. Yeah, I was saying that and then that showed up first and it was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely grown a lot since then. This one has some errors, but I really like how the rending came out in a lot of different aspects of it. It was a really hard drawing. No, Raven, I'm not drawing it. Nope. Mm -mm. I also love Aiko. I'm a big Aiko fan. Oh yeah, you guys is don't even remember this era. This is back when I was doing Paint Tool Psy and not CSB. Paint Tool Psy art hit different. Alright, we're done getting distracted. Should work on the art trade. Stop looking at Punk Biker Peach. I did also do Fire Alpaca for a bit. He get what? Her peaches. <laughs> but yeah, I did do fire alpaca for a bit pretty early on. It happens randomly all the time, Copper, but that's why I have like sketchbooks and everything everywhere and my tablet's really accessible so when this feeling strikes I can just do it. makes sense that she has a peach garden. You're so right. It just, it just makes sense. Of course. I want to do X moments. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta do it. Just do it, copper. Don't let your dreams be dream. tell me if I want stuff to get done, I have to actually do things. It's kind of fucked up.
I don't have any good pencils. <laughs> Damn. I literally draw with the same mechanical pencil that I've had since college, and it's just a regular 0.7 standard mechanical pencil. Like, I, I don't even... <laughs> I don't even own a pair of, like, art pencils. I am all natural. Whatever's laying around. If there's a plain-ass Bic laying there, I'm using it. You have to want to put effort in something to actually put the effort in? Ain't no way. <laughs> An unsharpened HB pencil? <laughs> really? I doubt that. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice, nice chest, ma'am. Excuse me. I had to do that. Yeah, I just use mechanical pencil. It's the same one I've had for so long. <laughs> just keep putting more lead into it and it's perfectly fine. Well, I guess it's not lead, but you know what I mean. Oh my god, Raven, that sounds terrible. <laughs> I could not imagine going through that. Check it out, Raven, it's another Mario Kart song, like, if it was Mario Kart, but he was 64. liked it. That's all that matters. I love speed running shit for school. That was the best. Because <laughs> I'm such a procrastinator. Which you wouldn't think that because I had like a really good GPA and everything and I was always voted teacher's pet. But man, I just couldn't do a lot of projects. I feel like I couldn't focus. I didn't have the ability to like plan out something long-term like that. Just absolutely trash at it. I'm pretty sure I passed a lot of my science classes just like not doing certain things and still passing. I don't know how I did that. Like I just didn't turn in half of a project once and I got a D on it but I still passed the class. <laughs> I didn't do a journaling thing for like the entire thing of, uh, entire semester of biology and I still ended up passing. Lazy in high school art. I never even took an art class. I don't know how many people here even realize that I've never taken an art class. <laughs> I'm flying by the seat of my pants every day. I figure the shout out, shout out, shit out on my own. <laughs> but I do shout it out, yes. So big procrastinator. I know I'm such a procrastinator. 
barely did any of the drawings. Uh, so we're doing a lot of analyzing. See, that's what I would expect from art history classes. That's not what I would do in an art class. I would imagine that we'd be art. Uh, did take an art history class in college, and that of course is purely art history. It's not you make art, and it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Oh yeah, you might get a really stiff teacher about it. I think the teacher that we had at my school was actually very uh, open and created the creative ideas and stuff. Because I always was really jealous of all the stuff they did in art, but because I was a band kid, I couldn't also do art. It was one or the other, and band was my number one. So I did that for my entire school career. Art has always been just like a hobby and something I really enjoy. And music was originally gonna be what I majored in and tried to become a music educator. But then I did and... Yeah, a lot of those classes always overlap. You could always only do one or the other, not both. I was able to do both choir and band my freshman year because I wanted to try it out and I definitely was like, nope, I am just going to stay in band. <laughs> it was cool to get to try it though. I learned a little bit about singing, just like how to sing better in general. Thank God we took fucking English too, though. Thank God. I ended up giving up the opportunity to take drama to take an English prep class. And I hated it. I almost failed it completely. And it just felt like, wow, I wish I had gone with my gut and just did drama like I had wanted to do for my English credit. But that's a whole can of worms that I don't want to talk about. Yeah, educators just do really got those priorities out of whack. It's not like I hated English. I hate essays. I'm really bad at essay writing. And I'm procrastinator, so, <laughs> you know, just never ended up going well for me. My essays were so bad in college prep English that I was failing. He was like, I don't understand but you're just not, like, understanding what I'm telling you. I, I don't know how else to help you with this. And it's like, ugh, I don't know, man. If only I had gotten to pick the class I'd wanted to take and not this class, because I was not wanting to take this class. <laughs> ugh, that hurt. Yeah, it feels like you have to write essays in a very specific way or, uh... You need to talk about a subject that sometimes isn't even what you're interested in. Like, a lot of the times they will give you an open-ended subject so you can talk about whatever you want. And other times it's like writing an essay on a book. Like, ugh. But yeah, I don't do that shit anymore. Too much uh, hard work for something I wasn't really going to need because... I don't- like, I can write a decent essay, I just don't need to write a college-level thesis. <laughs> High school didn't even have drama, or if it did, it wasn't advertised. They barely got to do anything with the drama group in my school because it, I lived out in the middle of nowhere. But I think it was more about the fact that they were doing, like, acting, studying, and things like that. and exploring media and discussing it. Like, I wanted to do that. I took an English class my junior year that I really enjoyed, and it, it was also because I really liked the teacher. But it was a science fiction class, and we mostly just studied science fiction literature and uh, 
also did some other English related activities but the main point was like we were reading sci-fi literature and discussing it in class and it was very fun very intriguing saying sorry <laughs> yeah you'll just need it some days I'm lucky that I wasn't smart enough for a lot of the higher level math classes and I don't think it's because I wasn't applying myself I just didn't understand certain things uh, I ended up taking the type of algebra class where they like instead of it being take algebra 1 and then algebra 2 they split Algebra 1 into Algebra A and Algebra B, so for my first two years I did Algebra A and Algebra B. And then I was took Algebra again, and then I finally took Geometry my last year. So like, I was behind on the math stuff. <laughs> but like, I can do math. It just got really confusing after a certain point. I'm sure it's the same with everybody. I'm such a visual person, but sometimes certain visuals just don't make sense. Like, where did this come from for this formula kind of thing? Yeah, they really did me right. They got me right for that math. <laughs> and then I got to college and I did the college level entry test and they're like, hell nah, girl, you need to go take a uh, math 99 before you can even take a college level math class. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I just got done doing algebra for three years, and they're like, nah, do algebra for a semester. <laughs> and then I did, and then I did stats, and then I didn't have to do another math credit. So, thank god. But I never ended up graduating anyway, so... <laughs> I don't have a college degree. Took two years of classes and then bailed. A multi-time college dropout. Let's go. Getting the streak going. It was more embarrassing for me because they had just interviewed me during the last semester that I was enrolled to be like, uh, cause I was in like a college bound program. They wanted to know how I, my last two years at the college were and stuff like that. And they were interviewing me to put me in the college paper for the, uh, new school year. And then somebody was like, oh my gosh, I recognize you because I saw you on the cover of the college paper. And it was like, oh, haha, ha, neat. Meanwhile, I'm holding a form in my hand that's withdrawing me from all my classes. <laughs> like, ah, oh, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Now you're thinking about the calculus and it pissed you off. Yeah, stop thinking about it. Just forget it. Simply stopped caring, happy side. Yeah, I kind of was in the same boat. I was really starting to stop caring. Man, I had really wanted to do drama at least once. I feel like I had the ability to do it. If I was given the right opportunity, I could have been really good with it. Like, just acting in general. Because I feel like I could. At that time, I wanted to. Like, <laughs> I wanted to be out there and performing because I already was, like, kind of a stage performer because I did band arrangement and stuff and did choir and all that and helped do a lot of setup and prep for that so it's like I would be fine working on a stage in another scenario I wanted to try it. Nope. Nuh uh. How to made your brain hurt? Yeah. I'm glad I never had to take that. I kind of miss stats. Stats was such an easy 
class in college. It was such a... have a calculator? Okay, you're going to pass this class. We're too shy for drama. But if you could go back in time, you'd do it. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things. Just getting my ball stolen and ass stolen. Copper your polar balls and ass and penis. I'm so sorry. You weren't there for the back half of high school. Oh yeah, and it lined up with 2020 stuff going on. Yeah. A lot of people have probably had that kind of experience too. I just got to a point where after a couple of years of college, it was like... I was way too stressed out and overwhelmed with real life that I just could not see myself going back to school. Because I didn't have all my credits finished after two years. Because I took so many uh, music classes every semester, which is required for like the music thing I was doing. Like I needed to take all those, but it meant I was also behind on like taking my history credits and my English credits that I needed to finish. And I still hadn't taken a science class with a lab, and I had already been there for a couple years. So it was like, God, this is so embarrassing. I would need to take these classes with uh, people two years below me, and like this is a small town. I'm gonna know these people that are two years below me and like, ugh, awful. I'm thankful that I'm far enough away from where I came from that hopefully nobody will recognize me and can just move on from that part of my life. This class is easy as fuck. I don't know how you failed this. I know, right, Lugie? It's so easy. Literally, it's just look at the data set, put it in your calculator, learn which buttons to hit to get these results. Like, it's so easy. <laughs> you don't have the balls to audition for stuff. You're gonna tell me an audition? Fuck it, let's all audition for some plays. Got an associate's course starting later this year? That's great. I'm glad you're getting back into it, Smiths. Good to hear. I thought about going back and then it just was never in the cards. I just, at that point, I was already almost working full time, so I just kind of gave up on those dreams so I could make money. <laughs> then I did that for eight years. <laughs> I think I was, I think I was diagnosed formally with depression when I graduated high school. So that's like after 2012, almost 2013. So there was just like too much going on. <laughs> They're like, oh, you know why you're so fucked up? It's because you have a disease. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> you're so right. Yeah, we got enough people in here to do, like, a Romeo and Juliet with the full Capulet and Montague family. We could do it. Let's just fucking do it. These are actually one of my least favorite forms of acting. Yeah, and I mean, like, I really enjoy watching musicals, especially, like, film-level quality stuff, but yeah. You'll be Mario? Yeah, let's do a Mario stage play. Yes, Raven, you can be Sarasa with G-Cups. <laughs> Spacing out a little bit, I'm just looking at the art. Mamma Mia Julia, where art thou? He's like, oh, Romeo! Power stars have been restored to the castle! <laughs> Yeah, I feel like everybody either had an awesome epic time at school, Acer, or they got depression. 
Those are your two options. We did it <laughs> for Romeo. Holy shit, Smits. I didn't even think about that line. Let's have a fabulous ball for Romeo. You have to be one of the guys that gets stabbed. Ooh, that's a good roll. Your depression is unrelated to school. It really depends. It could be like family situations or stuff like that too. There's so much that I could like vent about, but I don't want to make this a very negative space and talk about all my problems in my past. That's what therapy was for. <laughs> Just know I've gone through enough shit that I don't want to deal with it anymore, so stop giving me problems. <laughs> Oh, you like the strings I drew? Thank you. <laughs> uh, there was someone that I went to school with a long time ago, and I always enjoyed his art a lot too. But he would take the time to do all these really cool details and draw scales on everything, and it's like, man, I really wish I could draw all these details like you. I just, all my art looks so simplistic in comparison. He was like, because I asked him, how do you manage to do it? And he said, just take your time. <laughs> just just take your time and do it. <laughs> it's like, you know what? You're right. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Mama fucking Mia, you reckless bitch. How's about it? You hang on to some of the power stars the next to time? Damn, Copper, what a delivery. You never found one that clicked with you? I went to a few, quite a few. It took a while to f even find people I clicked with and then I'd still get a new one. Oh, I'm dropping. Stop dropping. Doesn't look like it's dropping too bad. Sorry about that. It is droppy though. Yeah, depression is dumb. <laughs> Thank you, Loogie. That's what I'm looking at in OBS right now. Red square. <laughs> he took one look at you and went, Autism. <laughs> it's the fucking Farquaad image where he's pointing at you. He's just autist. probably try looking again. Hey, it might be worth it. Yeah, sorry about the drops. I'm not sure why it's happening, but our internet's really good, so it really shouldn't be happening very often. You might need a reevaluation on that brain copper. It might be time. It might be time to go in and get a checkup. <laughs> I know it's lazy, but I'm gonna do it. Oops, tool. Uh, big. Gosh, how did I fucking nail it? Ideally, everyone will get quality therapy. Yeah, I know. Ideally, I would love that. Wish it was a lot easier to get the help you need, you know? I guess I'm very fortunate that I was able to get as much help as I did. 
Because I ain't getting any help right now. <laughs> I'm flying by the seat of my pants every day unmedicated. Doing pretty well so far. <laughs> I say that and I'm like shaking in my voice like, yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> You got the stupid disease? Why didn't you know? Come on, Copper, you should know better. You should know that shit comes from your parents. <laughs> I got that only medication I need. Yeah, I mean, I've been off meds for a couple years, so... I feel like I'm doing okay. Sometimes I get panic attacky. Sometimes I'm sad. But I'm not as bad as it used to be, so yeah, I'm probably better. <laughs> I just kind of made that decision myself. My psychiatrist was even like, you sure? Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm moving to a place where I'm gonna be like happier and healthier mentally, so I think I'm okay. <laughs> Don't need to worry too much. Bad move, Squire. She's yeah. It's not for everybody. Sometimes you need need them because there was for a while where I would be like, "Wow, I didn't get my pills for this week," and now I'm like totally on edge all the time about everything. And I would have like breakdowns at work and stuff like that, so it was not fun. Other than the other ball lines, and I want to add a couple here and more. to have friends. Yeah, I kind of have friends. <laughs> I say it like that, but I do. I mean, I live with two other individuals and one of them is one I'm dating. So yeah, you could say I have like supportive friends and stuff like that. And we just moved closer to a couple other mutual friends. So it's like, yeah, kind of. But like before this, we didn't have anybody. And before that, I didn't have anybody. <laughs> The most I would get for like friends are just, you know, your co-workers, but I am not very good at keeping relationships after leaving a job, especially because I would move a lot. I moved a lot in my adult years more than I ever did in my childhood ones. And not draw a circle. <gasps> up your dose but also says self stuff that helps you rationalize the anxiety yeah i totally get where you're coming from raven they don't feel like they help but then you don't take them i know that's the problem i had square she's i don't feel like they do but they absolutely did but i'm in a lot better of a headspace anyway so it just made sense at the time to be like you know what i think i'm good it was rough for a few, like, getting used to being totally off of them. I got through it. I think the move here is gonna be to do... Like, the lines? Like this? Maintaining relationships? I ain't doing that. Yeah, you're pretty damn cool, Copper. You're stronger than your... And that works for some people. It doesn't work for everybody. But for some of us, it does work out. You know, you just gotta know your body.
I know, and this song right now, this song hitting. It helped you get out of the rut. Yeah, exactly, Raven. It really helped me get out of my rut, too. Massive red. Just always dealt with high expectations. And some just and had bad relationships. Really good at that. not trying to share my brain shit. Yeah, I'm trying not to share too much of my brain shit either. I feel like it'll just become a sob uh, party if I end up just being like, oh, woe is me about all the stuff that happened to me because I don't want you guys to feel sorry for me. Stuff happened. Life's hard. Hard for everybody. Okay. used to be at a point in my uh, depression and anxiety where if I saw somebody that I used to know uh, and they were like, what have you been up to? I would just like totally trauma dump everything that had happened to me to them and it's like, oh my god, <laughs> what am I doing? And then I would talk to my therapist and I'm like, I'm, I don't know why, I just, I told them everything. Like I gave them such a summary of my life in the last six years. Why did I do that? I didn't need to, right? Like. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> the sob sesh. Yeah, we crying out here. Sob squad moment. Life is hard. But just felt, just feels, yeah, just feels. Mercus liked your tweet. That makes you famous. Yay, you did it. Wish I was as famous as Raven. Remember me when you get double famous. Yeah. Remember us little guys. Yeah, the, I know that line, Squire. She's, and it was so weird because I'm in a weird place with like where I grew up. It was such a small community and I knew like everybody in my graduating class and most of the people I went to school with. And then to just go like totally didn't see like 75% of them ever again after that was so weird. <laughs> and then uh, to see one of them again in the area that I was living, which was like two hours away from where we were going to school, was like, oh, whoa, like it's cool to see you again kind of moment. And then I just like unloaded. <laughs> Especially because he was like, oh yeah, you know, a uh, girl I was dating in high school, yeah, we got married, we're living around here, and it's like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I broke up, and blah 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 blah, and like, my whole life story came out. <laughs> and this is that, like, he was the security guard checking my ID to go in the dispensary. <laughs> so it was like, I'm just standing there, trauma dumping. 
<laughs> and it's like, all right, well, I'm here for my weed now. <laughs> a year or two after, immediate for me, Copper. Literally immediate. I didn't have friends my senior year. So I just kind of like dropped contact off the face of the earth with everybody after that. It was pretty rough. At least I didn't live in anyone's car. No, they did that to me. <laughs> yeah, the line art do be cool. I want to make that line on the hair a little thicker. It's a little thin. We weren't even live for three hours. Tell me I've been drawing this for three hours, Squidward. I mean, I've been trauma dumping this whole time. Had a few. We played Halo and then we didn't. Yeah. Yeah. All my friends are in the pewter now. <laughs> That's where they all live. You totally get it, Smits? Yeah. My graduating class was like 60 people. Very small. Oh, this is just like a layer. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know why this is here. Yes, that's my friend in the pewter. Or she. If something goes to shit, then it's like you've been voted off the show. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it certainly felt like that. And it sucks because like I I know I'm talking really vague and I want to tell you guys all about it, but at the same time I don't want to tell you about it. Because <laughs> I love being able to get it off my chest. I'm at a point where now I'm being able to just like get over things. But man, some stuff still will bother me. I still have weird hangups about certain things. Nuclear power plant gone wrong, everyone immediately One of the NPCs just explained how actual real life nuclear power is more fun and safer. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> they had to break contact, weird vibe. I definitely had homies I vibed with, but they were older than me. So, you know, they all graduated and they were all gone. And then I was bullied by underclassmen my senior year as well. So, you know, that just feels really bad. <laughs> and it's not even like they were truly bullying me, but they were picking on me very often. My brain is a crystal clear lake. Thanks, thanks. If I really need to let go of some dump, I know where to find you. But yeah, I would remember talking to therapists about this kind of stuff and it's like, yeah, absolutely, you were manipulated and you were being used for certain things and it's like, really? Huh. I didn't know that. <laughs> Is that normal? <laughs> Gosh, I'm all sorts of fucked up. I am so sorry. <laughs> Consider people which homies like friends. Yeah, no, that makes sense, Copper. Don't even worry about it. I feel like friend has such a weak connotation when you're younger. And it means a lot more to me now, but I use it pretty loosely as well. Pretty much anybody that comes to my stream that I recognize, I'll refer to them as like, Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, I know him. That dude. Contest time. See who's the most fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, let's do, uh... What's that game where you hold up ten fingers? You, I have never. It's like, I have never, uh... <laughs> Uh, I have never had a decent prom. 
I have never had two parents that were married after the age of four. I have never. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of friends of friends of friends. Yeah, a lot of people that come to my streams are people that come from Scorchy streams. Come from Scorchy streams, you know, it's all connected. We're all friends of friends of friends. And then sometimes you just get like the weird ones where it's like, oh, it's this random guy that I saw in someone else's unrelated stream. If anyone thinks that of me, I'm down first. You're down hella first. <laughs> I got you, copper. I definitely had some co-workers like that that were more forward about being like, yeah, of course we're friends, we can hang out. It's like, oh, thank you, because I am not good at being like, let's be friends. <laughs> I'm really good at like trying to make those connections and being interested in people, but if they don't respond very well to it, then I just don't try anymore. <laughs> like, all right, that's it. I did my part. It'd be really cool to make some real friends out here. Eventually down the line. Gotta shoot your shot and all that. You can manifest friendships? Yeah, I, I would agree, Raven. I think you can manifest them. You're kind of like a wizard. Always ponder in your orb. Spells, do you know? Yeah, do you know any good spells? I know the curse that makes your penis small. I will match the other person's level interaction. Oh, I understand, Copper. Yeah. Been there. <laughs> I think they're cool. Well, no. Alright, that's how you make friends, guys. Just treat it like you're in elementary school or on the playground. It'll work out. Just tell them they're cool. You want to be their friend. Having a big dick is more of a curse to me because you have to carry that around all day. True. Texting hard, voice easy. Voice hard, texting easy. Both of you are wrong. All of it's hard. Nothing is easy. Life is pain. Alright everybody, be sure to message Copper out of the blue in the next week. Writing it down in my to-do list that I definitely have. Good, 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 good. I still keep a... Mm -hmm. I still keep a note pad on my phone of potential band names, so if you guys ever have any, you know, let me know. I've been trying to collect a bunch more of them.
still partial to blue light special. <laughs> Maybe it's the Kmart worker in me that says that. Gosh, I don't miss those days either. Ugh. There was a guy who, like... Okay, so let me just briefly explain how this situation worked out. Uh, my ex-boyfriend, he was my boyfriend at the time, got a job at the Kmart in the electronics department, and he helped me get an in for my own position in the uh, soft lines department, which is like all the apparel and clothing and the shoes and stuff like that. Um, I ended up getting put into shoes a lot more often than anything else, which is right next to the electronics department in our store layout, so constantly like come over and see me and bug me. Eventually got fired for your management reason. So I let him go and they had hired on some new people to take over and one of the new guys got transferred into the electronics section and he would come over to see me in the shoe department every once in a while. And then I broke up with my boyfriend, called it off after a little bit after that, just didn't want to hang out with him anymore. And uh, this guy definitely overheard me talking about that and how I was single to my other co-workers because I'd been dating him for a long time and they all knew him and they would ask about him, like, how is he and stuff like that. So then he was, like, even more, like, trying to ask me stuff, like, I... I think he mentioned something like you like Pokemon or whatever because I mentioned that I got a new game and I was like yeah I got Pokemon X for my 3DS that I just got and then he just like started dumping about Pokemon and it was like the kind of dumping where I'm like okay like I'm here to do a job man <laughs> uh, and I kept like trying to get away from him and he would just keep talking to me I'm like are you sure there's nothing you need to do in your department <laughs> Uh, and then very soon after, I did start dating someone else. So it was like, I made a big point to like say something in the break room and then he was walking by and I swear I saw him like slump. <laughs> it was like, oh my god, no, no you didn't. No you did not have feelings, don't say that. Cause it was just awkward, I always felt so weird around him. Then that made me feel really bad, like... <sighs> Dude, <laughs> it wasn't gonna happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> the retail days, yeah, Acer. Got stories. That shoe department, Riz. I really do. It's just that I can talk to a lot of guys really easily because I like video games, that's all. So they just like, sometimes they latch onto you and it's like, whoa, buddy. And then I eventually quit that job as well and I moved in with the new boyfriend. So it's like, whatever, <laughs> the skin off my back. I won't work for that Kmart anymore. And then uh, I think about a year later that Kmart was formally closed down or something like that. It wasn't very long after. I need the stabilization back up for this. <laughs> cannot draw this curve. You know what? I think that's good. Okay, maybe not. It's kind of leaning. Wish there was an easier way for me to do this. Ugh. You're like video games and you're a girl? Humana, humana, hold on. <laughs> Found the alarms. If there was some sort of curve tool, it's impossible to use. <laughs> The one in Paint Tool side was so much more intuitive, the one in CSP doesn't make sense to me.
trying to start relationships with coworkers. Yeah, that's already a bad idea. If he thought that maybe we could have had something, I think that would have been a really bad idea. Especially because I was dating a guy that I worked with and then he got fired. Like, that really felt weird for me. And then we started to get like new manager and everything had started to happen. It was kind of just like all this change. All happened at once. Left that job and I said, Sayonara, baby. Then I went to work in a different shoe department in a different kind of store. <laughs> Draw a line and you can set the point where it curves. Yeah, but it's not what I want. I don't want a perfect curve. I wanted like a really weird looking curve. It's fine, I can hand draw. I hate to break it to you, I'm kind of a gamer. First things first, I'm a gamer. break up and then you have to be around them for work stuff yeah yuck line tool i'm not using a line tool i'm holding shift you can just hold shift with a pen and make it go beep that's how it works it's not the same thing This one requires me to just go click. Raven's just a hater. Permission to ban Raven? No, Raven can stay. Gave them VIP. I have to mean it. <laughs> you are a hater. All you want to do is one up me all the time, Raven. I'm like, hey guys, check out all these songs on piano that I'm working on. And you're like, I'm gonna learn every single one of those, and then I'm gonna beat you at every single one of them. Like, hey. <laughs> That's not very nice. You did say that. <laughs> the only reason that you've survived here? Oh yeah, absolutely, Copper. I would have gotten rid of your ass so early. <laughs> hey there, Aunt Circa. Welcome. Need to one-up Marzi? No, you don't need to one up my no nobody need to do that. Before the sleep, I'm thinking about sleeping an hour or two too. About an hour or so. A little more than an hour probably. So I'll probably be wrapping up stream soon. We're almost done with all the line work. Thanks for popping in to see me. I hope you like the Maki art. Look at that. Got a couple more clouds to draw and then the actual like line work part I feel like is gonna be done. I'm Probably gonna add a couple little shells and then like all the dotted sand parts are gonna be colored lines, not uh what you call it. Not line work. This ant's fine. Okay. You're constantly living on the edge of being banned. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll think about it. One of these days we'll get rid of you for fun. Is the final product gonna have this color style? I don't know what it's gonna look like yet. The colors are what you see. Just really muted. Uh, I'll turn it back up in a moment. As soon as I'm done with these clouds. Oh yeah, so when the uh, game streams come back on, 
like my gaming streams. Do you guys want Minecraft or do you want uh, Chris Pratt? I'm trying to debate which one I need to like put more time into. Chris Pratt is a <laughs> what the fuck's it called? Phantom Hour class. <laughs> Chris Pratt <to> gaming. <laughs> saving up for VIPC so don't get banned yeah that's all it is it's just it makes you immune to getting banned <laughs> okay let's draw those shitty little birds I might not have the shitty little birds they're really shitty yeah, let's not have shitty little birds. They're too shitty. Yeah, the Nintendo Live thing they're doing in Seattle. Yeah, I know about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to live up in that area, but I never done anything cool. I just went to the Space Station times. You won it? No way. That's epic. You keep wasting your points on hydrating me? <laughs> That's a VIP move though, Taz. Just wait. I've got plenty of those to give out. I'm gonna hide the sketch layer underneath it and turn the colors back on just so we can get an idea of what it looks like. Those are what the colors are gonna look like. Plus your friend who was on the family plan? Let's go! <laughs> That's awesome! I'm happy to hear it. That sounds like it's gonna be awesome. Thank you, Tess. Thank you. I do need to take another tip, though. Thank you. Hmm. The colors are sick. I spent way too long thinking about the colors. You can tell, though. In case this is streamer surprise un-VIPs you, I wouldn't do that. I have way too many VIP badges to still give out. <laughs> VIP is very special to me. Popper got his without really trying, though. <laughs> the save I have here. Yeah, let's save it. Traveling to Washington would be kind of suck. About how far would it be for you? Yeah, you must have said some funny shit. You must have gotten a good Amazon order on a joke. Ah, <laughs> uh, half the country. Yeah, it's a bit large. Remember the joke, travel not included in the tickets? Ah, uh, yeah, that would be a problem. It would be easy for me because I have family that lives near Seattle so I could like hang out with them, but I'm not planning on going. <laughs> that sounds like it'll be expansive. Now let's look at just the line work. Crisp. Colleen. I should probably take a cap of this and send it to Moku. Or at least go and post it. The opposite coast? Oh yeah, that would be a long one for him as well. another snip. Yeah, I love this banger. This one's hitting right now. 
All right, I might as well do a cool down doodle and then I'll go home, go sleep, go bed. What am I thinking about for a cool down? What if Jazzy was like a squid kid? Yeah, I'm probably ending soon. It's uh, almost 2 a.m. here. I know that I stay up kind of late, but like... <laughs> Kind of late for me. I did this art stream as like a, oh, I should do art, just like for funsy. And then I was like, no, you should do it for work. And like, I, right, I should work. But I feel like I made a decent amount of progress tonight. I gave her the craziest bony hips and legs. Looks like crap. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome to chill. Welcome to the chat room. Thank you so much. <laughs> apple juice or orange juice? Uh, apple juice. But I can't have either right now on my diet. <laughs> yeah, I can bust out colors next time. Colors is gonna be a little more fun. It's gonna be like filling in the flats and making it look really nice and clean, and then it's gonna be the hard part of figuring out the rendering. <laughs> I'm trying to think if Jazzy did play Splatoon, what would she play? Like, what would her main be? And so, big part of me is just like wanting to self insert, but probably she wouldn't be a roller main. It'd probably be dualies. Let's be real. You think she'd do the tri-string? I think that's also a good pick. I was thinking either something kind of charger like that, like reflux or tri-stringer, or the uh, different types of dualies. Not usually the like tetra, but like maybe gluga. You think about that kind of stuff a stupid amount? I know, I do too. Unreal. I'm always thinking about my dumb OC. I'm always thinking about her dumb thigh gap that I keep drawing her with. Hey, King Cobra. Good evening. Welcome to the cool down. Where I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. She ain't tall as fuck. She's the sh one of the shortest ones. Uh, I'm just doing some cool down uh, sketches before I end stream for the night. I've been having a lot of fun doing my uh, jackalope character. I'm sure if you followed me on Twitter, you probably saw me post it <laughs> earlier today. He's got a very peanut shape to her body. 
But yeah, uh, before you guys just got here, I was working on this drawing here. Got the line work done. There's the lines. That are very clean, very crisp. We left Twitter two months ago permanently. Understandable. Till they kick me out, I'm still just kind of, kind of hanging out. <laughs> Yeah, I love this character a lot. Like, a personal favorite of my own OCs. She stood the test of time. I'm always drawing her. The way I would draw her shorthand is also really cute. <laughs> Yeah, good on ya. Okay, that's kind of what she looks like in terms of shape. Very peanutty. Here, this right here, this is the Oh wait, it's the Krusty Sean costume. There now, she's wearing a fry cap. <laughs> costume moment. <laughs> Yeah, this is the cozy playlist. That's what we've been listening to all stream. This is my chill jams. Here, let's see if I can just bust out a squid kid real quick. selected from the other playlist uh so there's a default like amount of songs that i've been sent as well as stuff that square she's has put together and sent to me and then i just dump that all into one giant playlist and then from there i make my own playlists so i have a jams playlist that i usually play and a chill playlist that i usually play and this is the chill one but the chill one doesn't usually get as much uh view time Usually mostly the jams playlist. Like little 
that's some shit. Totally has Triforce here as river theme? I mean, not very likely. Ooh, Pikmin OST? Good stuff. I like a lot of songs in Pikmin, despite having never played it. And if I had my Pearl Amiibo right now, I could absolutely bust out. But I don't know. She's not right here. I'm just winging it. check if there's anything Triforce Heroes. That's the wrong application. I don't think there is. Would be under like Legend of Zelda if I had to guess. There's too much blood pooling up your arm. Don't say it like that. <laughs> but yeah, kind of. Uh, no, I don't see anything from Triforce Heroes in this playlist. I don't think I have anything from it. Come straight to hell. <laughs> it's a really bad pearl. It's kind of scuffed. <laughs> Can't say I didn't try. It's literally, yes, it's that. It's that Mario iconic finger. Oh, the Triforce Heroes? The Triforce Hero games? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Ant. I never got to play Triforce Heroes, just the... Uh, Four Swords Adventure that they had on GBA. Can you give her a fur, friend? Yeah. Gave her quite the big boy. <laughs> Ooh, you need GBA and GBA GC cable for each. Ugh, yeah, I just played it on GBA with my uh, bus mate that I had. This image goes hard. Feel free to screenshot.
He says, fuck a you. <laughs> People still do bloodletting? No, they don't. They they don't do that. <laughs> I drew Pearl, I guess I have to draw Marina. This is what she looks like, right? This is right, isn't it? She just is shaped like this. <laughs> you know you guys are talking about leeches? Yeah, we're back on our Romeo open RP. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Marzi, you. <laughs> that emo also makes me think of pancake. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Acer. <laughs> Marzi dance emo win unless I've asked this too many times and forgot. I don't know, I need to make a better like chibi design for Marzi so I can have like some dumb shit where it's just like going like this. It's like yippee yippee cat jump. <laughs> also thank you for the follow. Teacher telling you about historical bloodletting? Ugh. Blech. Gremlin Marzi? I've drawn Gremlin Marzi. But it's not the Marzi you know, it's like the Marzi that looks like me. <laughs> the real Marzi. No, the real Marzi. Where is it? Here's a gremlin Marzi. Yeah, I'm not the real Marzi. Got rid of her. Yeah, this one's titled Quarantine Move. <laughs> With some very uh, self expressive art. I will draw myself from time to time. I think it's really funny. You guys would probably enjoy this more than the people that I posted it for. I made myself a meme, te meme template. <laughs> I just did this one day for fun. See, that's me. I'm very gremlin-like in this one. And then I put this, like, blank spot over here, and then <laughs> nobody ended up really using it except for a couple people. <laughs> it was very silly. Uh, what's one of the iconic ones? <laughs> this little guy. <laughs> and I used to draw with a setup like that. I didn't have a PC setup until like I started streaming. That's when I got a PC. Before that I was purely laptop. You like that one? Thank you. 
Yeah, let's look at a couple other things before I end stream, because I'm probably just gonna end it. <laughs> Marzioka Moriko, that's me, I'm Mori Mori. Gosh, I miss when my art looked like this. Like, there's certain times when I look at my art and go, gosh, I miss those days. I miss when my art would look like this when I did sketches and stuff. Uh, here's the one I was just looking for. Like, I miss when more of my sketches look like this more often. I've definitely found a better way that I do sketches, though. Put Garcy there. Might have to. I was in a really cool, like, cartoony place for a while, and then I kind of lost it and leaned more in the anime. I'm finding it again. Gosh, I didn't draw a whole heck of a lot at all during uh, COVID. There's a whole lot of nothing happening. I just wasn't feeling art back then. It was rough. <laughs> That's a cutie. Thank you. Need to do more like sketch dump pages as well in the future. I feel like I haven't done a whole lot of those recently. I do them for like Marzi Monday, but just like casual art. I have a good example of what I mean. Oh shit, there's more squid art. Hold up. Old squid. COVID was just so demoralizing, so true. <laughs> yeah, this is a squid time. Some old art. And then this is my uh, original uh, Marzi design for an inkling before we had playable octoling. I kind of went like, it's kind of like Callie's hair, but it's more like tied up in a bun. That never left. I always had that, like, loop loop thing. <laughs> Eating punk. Oh shit, other Splat Doodles? These are from Splatoon 2 era? Me when I was a splat dooly main. And I would always use that same haircut. <laughs> they were so cute. I love them. I've always been a splat doolies main since the Splatoon 2. But I haven't played much splat doolies in Splatoon 3. <laughs> that is a nefarious gremlin. Uh. I no longer use it for my picture on uh, Tumblr, but I had a picture I made when Pearl was announced. Where is it? Where's my silly picture? Probably in here. There it is. <laughs> I made this my icon on Tumblr for a while. <laughs> Two feels so long ago, but it's not. It's really not. It's crazy. But yeah, this was my Tumblr profile picture for the longest time. <laughs> I put that together one day. Do I have any other squid art to share? Might not. I didn't draw a lot of squid art. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this design. I still haven't let this go. I tried to do an updated version of this design once before as well. Uh, back when I first started streaming. There's a PNG tuber version of this that's really simple. You're killing the fly, let's go happy side, murder it! You thought the squid time was part of the picture? It is, it is, it's real. Oh, it didn't take all of it away. You remember the old one? Yeah, the really old one. Uh, but this was like my Pokemon trainer idea. I just have a thing for gal girls and hardcore delinquents and shit. But yeah, it was the really old uh, version that I like, whipped together in one sitting and didn't even bother trying that hard. <laughs> That's a Marzi drawing. <laughs> this one's me. <laughs> I love shit like this. <laughs> Characters of myself are always the most fun things to draw. The big smacking fan? Yeah, of course. What's she looking at? I don't know, but she's looking at something. <laughs> the title of this image is Oof Wow Girls. There's lots of different ways that I've drawn myself. Like, here's another one. This one's like a realistic depiction of what I looked like back in that time, which is like, I don't know, 2018. Got the sick California hat. PNG tubers have really taken off. Yeah, they have. They really have. The state name hat, yeah, but I got that when I was on vacation in California, so I think it's valid. You would just draw yourself with goblin energy? I mean, I've definitely done those two. I've done realistic ones and goblin energy. Gotta have them both. Where's my other goblin energy art? <laughs> this one. It is the realistic. I haven't brushed my hair today, so that makes sense. I, <laughs> I am the goblin. Close a couple of those. There you go, there, there's the what. Never really called it a tuber anything to begin with. Yeah, uh, I've always called mine a PNG tuber. Fortunately. Gonna make two different versions? Hey, why not? Do it. Gosh, early Marzi was a totally different concept. Excuse me. You're rocking the big gob energy today? Very nice. No, it's not copper. You're not hot. You're not sexy. Don't be lying to everybody here. Oh my gosh, I remember this OC design and I had wanted to do more with it and then I never did much else with it. I need to draw more office ladies. What am I doing with my life? Whenever you picture copper IRL, <laughs> it's just a copper pipe. That's all we think about. <laughs> That's me when office lady too. Oh, these are funny. There's a bunch of doodle dump here. This is when I was still trying to figure out my PNG tuber. For real. And for a while, I considered having Ferret also on screen. 
like part of the design, but I decided to leave it out. Came up with my own original design. I quite like this face here. I feel like this really embodies the crazy art energy. I also really like this face here. You're picturing the Pokemon, the funny elephant, like Mario? <laughs> Early fur at Pog moment. <laughs> I really like this one, he kind of looks like a llama. My art has grown so much, even from just when I started streaming. Um, the first stuff I did on stream. Probably... This? And... Yeah, I did this on stream. I remember my stream broke and the VOD broke, and so there's just not a recording of me finishing it, but it looks really nice. I hope they can make that pipe sound. Me too. I'm gonna drop copper <laughs> and see if he makes the sound. Yeah, my art's changed so much. What the hell? Oh yeah, that's a foot. Uh-huh. <laughs> there was one time when I had this on screen for a stream as well. It's Marcy, but fur it. This is some obscure shit. Show feet? <sighs> Hold on. There you go, there's the foot. <laughs> He's doing his taxes. <laughs> The entirety of Wii Base Galaxy official track, but it's just metal pipe noise. I don't know if I'm gonna do Inktober. I didn't do it last year. It was a lot to consider taking on. I might not do it this year either. I'm not sure. It's one of those things. I ain't sure. The IRS foot? Yeah. Gosh, remember when I did do Inktober? That shit was crazy. I can't believe I was committed that hard to it. I don't even know how many of you were here when I did Inktober. We were finishing up Inktober pieces. Yeah, probably doing this and putting them all together. Uh, why don't we just look at them? Why not? I was so smart that I put them all together every week. And then I could just like slap them all together at the very end. We're definitely not here. I streamed a few of them. Some of them were done off stream and just like randomly. Because this was right after I quit my job and moved to LA was when I did this. And I kind of went like full on ham. The art stuff for a bit. <laughs> There's me. There's Raven. There's also a funny guy in this one. This was more a test of like me trying to do a lot of different prompts. Just staying consistent with art. You remember the kitchen one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this one I did on stream, the helmet one I did. Uh, I don't know if the compass one I did. I may have done the collide one on stream. Definitely did this loop one on stream. I do remember it. The turntable idea of looping. And then route. I think I may have done that one on stream too. I don't remember. Uh, this one for open was scary, spooky. Oh yeah, the kitchen one. You definitely probably remember that then.
Gosh, this is like bringing me back. Leek is cute, I know. And I tried to do all these different types of girls for each of them, so, you know, to try to keep it interesting and stuff. Got hard, it was a pretty good challenge. Crispy. That's the best cat I've ever drawn. And it's not even like a full real cat. I remember drawing these snakes on stream. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very small in this drawing. She's got a gun pointed right at her. So much risk involved in gambling. But yeah, that was the first and last time I've done a full completed Inktober. <laughs> One time I tried to do it literally and do a traditional art Inktober and I only got to like day 10 or something before I gave up. Uh, one of them was really good from uh, that Inktober in particular. And I still have it. It's right... Hold on. Right there. It's rats and a pumpkin. I think this one turned out really nice. But yeah, 2018 was the last time I had attempted it. Rat. Rat, the weird rat. <laughs> Not again. I hate that guy. Yeah, I don't have the other ones in here. There's the sketchbook probably somewhere floating around with all those in it. Get that tattooed. Thank you. Appreciate it. <sighs> oh, don't I need to eat again? Probably. Let's be real. Probably. Uh. Only a little, but I probably should call it for the night. And his friend's like, Yeah, let's Dude. go see Theo. He's still streaming. Crash Bandy Schmoot. I don't have any piercings. How many do you have? I would love to get my ears pierced, but I also don't want to deal with it. <laughs> he had a helix before that? That's pretty neat. Yeah, maybe one day I'll consider it, but that's not really a big thing that I've wanted to do for a very long time or anything. Yeah, thank you so much for coming to the stream and hanging out with me, guys. I just was gonna do art anyway, so it's like, oh, I guess I could stream it. I guess people will watch if I stream it. <laughs> but uh, I hope you all had a good night. I'll see you guys again at the next stream, whenever that is. I'll say hi to Theo and have a good night. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night.